So if you're here, you're looking for a better understanding about what AI agents are and maybe even how they differ from other artificial intelligence or the traditional workflows that we've been using for decades. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to cover in this video. And the great part about it is that you're going to learn it in a couple of minutes because it's not that complicated. And although there's a lot of like misconceptions and misunderstandings about what AI agents are, it's a pretty simple thing to wrap your head around. And I thought the best way to kind of lead into this is to use something that we're all really familiar with, the traditional if-then workflow, where it's a linear process and once th certain things happen, other things happen, right? So in this example, when somebody signs up for something on your website, you're going to send them over to your CRM, which is HubSpot or whatever you're using. And then you're probably going to send them an email saying, hey, thanks for signing up for my thing. That's traditional if then logic, but it's very linear and there is no thinking involved. It is basic computer code that is, like I said, we've been using for decades. There's no brain involved with this. It's just flipping switches. Okay. Well, we can take this same linear workflow and we can add artificial intelligence to it. And that looks something like this. And when we talk about AI, we're generally talking about some sort of LLM or large language model. And don't get confused by this. It's not complicated. Just think when you say ChatGPT, when you say Claude, when you say perplexity, these are large language models that have been trained on a massive amount of data, right? And they can perform some pretty complex tasks as long as they have enough context. And that's why we refer to AI workflows as adaptive or contextual logic. And the more context we give the AI, the better it will perform. And so in this linear process, this linear workflow, I came up with this idea. I said, okay, let's say that you save all of the great articles that you read over the course of a week and you put them into a Google sheet. And then you want your AI to help you write a LinkedIn post to help you grow your brand and maybe help people find business, whatever it is. And so you tell ChatGPT every day, hey, I want you to go and get the latest article. And then I want you to write me a LinkedIn post about that article. And it'll do a fair job, a pretty good job of doing it. Okay. But if we feed a little more context, if we say to the AI agent like ChatGPT, we or sorry with the AI workflow, if we say, hey, this is an article about the current state of the housing market in Phoenix, Arizona, right? I want you to write me a LinkedIn post based on the information that's in this article and then give people three tips if they're going to if they're planning on buying a home in the next two months. See that more now we're going to get a better result because we've given it more context as to what we want it to do. But again, this is very linear. There's, there's no, it's not the, ch the chat agent, the chat bot isn't making any decisions about where it needs to go and what it needs to do. It's been given information and it's been told to create an output. Okay. And again, conditional or adaptive logic. Now, when it comes to AI agents, AI agents have access to the same, like the same brain as like chat GPT. They have access to this right here and all of that training that's been done, but they also have access to other tools that you can give it that will allow it to perform very complicated functions that it otherwise wouldn't be able to do or that a, a human would have to do. So in this, in this example, I have not just my AI agent with my brain in it, which is chat GPT, but I've also given it access to my CRM, which is HubSpot. I've given it access to my email account, which I host through Gmail. And I've given it access to a company database with a bunch of information about everybody who works with us and all our products and information that it would need in order to perform some complex functions. So we can tell the agent to do something like, hey, I want you to go and find every client in the last three months who spent more than $10,000 with us. And I want you to compile a list and then I want you to email it to Mark in sales. Well, now the agent, it's not linear. Now the agent is having to make some decisions and do some complex reasoning before it goes to work. And so it's first thing it's going to have to do, of course, is go to the CRM. It's going to have to find all the people who spent more than $10,000 in the last three months. Then it's going to have to bounce to the database to figure out who Mark is and what Mark's email address is. And then it's going to have to compile all the information and email that to Mark. 
And agents can do all of those functions. They can be multi-layered. They can have different processes that they can access. And the what you can do with them is largely unlimited or limited only for to what you are capable of conceiving for your business. And what an actual agent looks like when you build it out is a lot like this diagram. So I've created a little agent here that um, I'll show you what it is in a minute, but it's has largely the same things that we just looked at. It's got a brain, which is ChatGPT. It's got a little memory in here so it can keep track of conversations that I have with it. It's got access to my Gmail account where I host my business email. And then it also has access to a database, what we call a RAG, uh, of a bunch of company information. And I thought it would be fun over the next few videos to do a series and walk you through how to build out this exact agent for yourself. And it's going to be very beginner level. It's not going to be anything complex. I don't care what level of comfort you have with sort of technology. You may have never built anything like this before, but over the course of the next hour, you are going to be able to create this exact agent for your business. And what are we building? Well, I created a fake little company here called Slab and Stone Concrete Craftsman. And they do everything from driveways to back patios to all kinds of stuff, stamped concrete. And I put together, I had AI help me write up a bunch of different information about this company, including all of the costs that it, depending on what you're buying, uh, it has access to the process and the permitting and scheduling. It just has, it's about 14 pages long and it just gives the agent a lot of information to help it answer questions. Okay. And what we're building, what this is right here, is this down here in the corner. It looks just like a regular chatbot that we've been using for 20 years, right? The difference is this one is connected to all that information and it's connected to that large language model, that chat GPT model, so that it can answer pretty much any question that anyone would have coming to this site at Slab and Stone about their next project. It can even email support or someone on the sales team if they want that so they can now you never miss an opportunity. It might be three o'clock in the morning and somebody's up thinking about their new stamped concrete back patio and they're doing research and they can come in and ask all kinds of questions here. And so that's what we're going to be designing. And I'm going to be showing you how to model this for your business. So whether you work for a company that could use something like this and you just want to kind of show off, or if you're a company who's like, man, I would really like to have something like that for my business. We're going to do it over, I think about an hour is what it's going to take to put it together for you. And so it's going to be a series of videos. And if I have recorded and released the next video, it's going to pop up right here over my shoulder and you can just click on it. And if not, if you don't see anything up there right now, then make sure it's a great reason to be subscribed to the channel. Hit that like, that share, that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I release a new training. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm so excited. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.